Today I'm here in Brighton, in Adelaide's coastal fringe, to visit an architecturally designed house that from the facade will capture you and you will not be able to take your eyes off it. This house, straight from the onset, looking at it, is got so many features and such an organic feel. How did you guys come about and execute this job? Oh look, we've got some great homeowners here. Really gave us a terrific brief to have an entertaining house. It's a really coastal, clean atmosphere down here. So they've got views of both the Adelaide Hills and they can see the ocean from the front. And they wanted all natural materials. So you'll see the rammed earth throughout the home, the steel, our really cool glass bridge, which is the first for us. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of it, mate. So let's go in and have a look. Mate, as a tradesman, I, I always look at the build and what's involved in a build. And I mean, I can see this rammed earth. There's so much work involved in that. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got this butterfly ceiling up there. I'm sure the chippies and the plasters weren't happy with yeah. that design. Yeah, absolutely love me for the double double rake butterfly roof. Uh, but it just allowed us to get more, more high level windows, more openings in the house, and just a bit of relief on what can be a compressive element, that just straight raked roof. Well, it looks amazing. and I mean, the, you've, you've started to bring in the curves up here as well in the kitchen and in this timber batten wall. I mean, it's taking those sharp edges of the, of the rammed earth away and, and bringing in that, that nicer curved feel. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a big space, but it's not huge. So just taking off some edges just relaxes the feel of the home. It's a little bit more coastal as well. Uh, we're trying to find an industrial edge with our home with plenty of natural materials and those curves really soften it. And when you say coastal, I mean, we've got coastal, we've got industrial, we've got some mid-century furniture. It, it, it's all sort of a mix, but it all works perfectly in the same space. Yeah, it's actually quite a simple palette in the end. There's timber, some black steel and black joinery, and then there's the rammed earth, which I would like to think is the showpiece, but it's each to their own. Well, Alan, I think we've, we've touched on a lot of the natural features, but when we, when we step back into the design and the actual uh, fix out of the house, we're talking about this batten timber with the black backdrop. I mean, it really creates a nice effect. And then we've got the two-tone island bench, which I think looks great. You've got the timber breakfast bar, but then your working space is stone. Yeah, it's zoned off. I mean, there's party at one end and you can work down the other. The black kitchen's recessive, so it's not taking over the space but it shows off that beautiful bit of stone that we've brought over from Melbourne. The master suite, I mean, it, it, it's the epitome of a well-designed house. I mean, everyone that designs their own home or has professional help from it really wants emphasis on the master suite. And that one in there is nailed to a T. I mean, it's got that coastal feel. It's got that beautiful lush carpet. Then we walk through the walk-in robe into an outstanding ensuite. Yeah, mate, look, we're trying to separate with that amazing bridge. It's the first time we've done, we absolutely love putting that together. It separates them from their day-to-day -day life. They're both busy people, the clients. Then they've got that amazing view through that picture window to the, to the ocean. Yeah. They wake up to that, they read books in that little alcove. And I can see going into that ensuite, you've, you've taken the curves in there as well with the shaving cabinet and the vanity, you know, just trying to keep everything nice and cohesive throughout the house. Yeah, that's it. We sort of think of it overall. We try and bring everything through as a, not as a theme, but you know, as an aesthetic. Now mate, looking around, there's lots of lighting. I mean, everywhere I look, there's LED strips on the stringers. We've got a beautiful pendant hanging in the stairway. I mean, how, how do you manage all of these features? Look, the client is absolutely in love with lighting fixtures. It was sort of her bag. She, she took the lead on that. Uh, she found some really unique pieces, like the three hanging in the entry. Nightmare to hang for the electrician, <laughs> but he got there. He's very patient and persistent, our electrician. They're all automated for an entertaining house. It just means they can set scenes easily dim the ones, turn the workstation lights off and just have the feature lights that they've, they've put in this home specifically. The project was quite daunting because of the, how large it was um, and how many switches and, and outlets the clients wanted and how many lights interior and exterior that they wanted to introduce. Um, and then um, and how they wanted to automate everything. It was just lots and lots and lots of cables in, a, in, a, in really a, a domestic home. So we didn't fully fit out the house from the beginning because the clients you know, weren't sure how much they're going to use, um, how they were going to use the product once they started living here. 
So we're about to expand on it further, introduce it with all the outdoor garden lighting so we can set up some scenes for nighttime parties, entertainment. They are quite big entertainers, the, the clients, so they're starting to realise that they want to be able to introduce those outdoor lights uh, on Wiser as well now. The owners love their lighting. Uh, they picked from lights, some lights from all around the world for this project. That was a joy to see what kind of lighting we were able to install. Mate, I absolutely love this entertaining here. I mean, it's got everything you need. We've got a pizza oven, a lap pool, another barbecue area. We've already got one upstairs. <laughs> now we've got one down here, a nice preformed concrete sitting area. I mean, it's, there is nothing you could add to this space. A nice bit of grass for the kids or the dogs. Yep. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, look, it flows through right from the entry. Uh, we're trying to funnel all the guests through here, the kids, they have people, 20, 30 people out here every weekend. So it's a resort lifestyle for them uh, and they love it. And I'm, I think standing back here as well, we can really take in the architecture of the house with all the big windows and, and seeing, you know, we're facing away from the ocean at the moment, but if you can picture all of those windows out there looking out at that view, it really gives you a really good perspective of the house and the design. Yeah, totally. We're trying to get some depth in the home back here. The light and sun and shadow does come across the back of this home. Yeah. So it's important to get some mood back here. You don't want it overbearing to what is an open plan sort of outdoor area. And we've got decking to soften it. The polished concrete, brilliant, it's hard wearing. We poured that initially with the first slab. So to protect that throughout the build uh, was a real challenge, but we got there. Well, Al, you guys have really hit this one out of the park. I mean, from the start, seeing that rammed earth, the concrete, the steel, the curves. I mean, it's such a beautiful house that's so cohesive from front to back. And I think the homeowners, you can tell they already love it. Yeah, they're fantastic. They've been living in here for a year now. Very little complaint from them. Uh, we've just tried to make a home that's not overly huge. It just uses the spaces that we've created for them properly. So there's not extra rooms in this house. It's just using the volume we've got.